Python versus JavaScript. Which is better? Let's talk about it. Hey guys, John Alder here from CodyB.com. And if you're a brand new coder looking to get started, which programming language should you pick, Python or JavaScript? Let's break it down to these six things. One, how easy are they to learn? Two, how easy are they to code? Three, what are each good for? Four, how are their communities and resources? Five, what's the job outlook for each? And six, what are my final conclusions? All right, first, how easy are they to learn? And the answer for both of them is pretty easy. If you have any sort of coding background or if you already know some other programming language, you can easily pick up the basics through, I'd say, intermediate levels of both Python and JavaScript in an afternoon. I have several intro courses for both at CodeMe.com, and I also wrote a best-selling Python book that could help. If you're brand new to coding, you can still pick up either of those languages in a few days to maybe a week with no problem. Python is probably a little bit easier to learn, but JavaScript isn't bad at all. Number two, how easy are they to code? Python is definitely the easier of the two to code, but JavaScript is definitely not hard. Python is known for its readability and simplicity. Its syntax is clean and resembles pseudocode, more natural language-like, and it uses indentation to make things easier to read. JavaScript, on the other hand, can seem a little more complex due to its dynamic typing. The syntax is less readable because it uses lots of weird characters, semicolons, and lots of brackets and things like that. It's just a little bit harder to look at and easily comprehend. Not super hard, but harder than Python. Third, what are each good for? Python is a great general use programming language. It excels at data science, machine learning, and AI, because of popular libraries like NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, Scikit-Learn, and PyTorch. We've got tons of videos on all those things here on the channel. Python is also great for back-end web development because of popular frameworks such as Django and Flask. It's also great for graphical user interface apps, GUI apps, using tkinter and the PyQt libraries. We've got tons of tkinter, PyQt, Django, and Flask courses here at Codeby.com. Python is also just great at general purpose coding. Have repetitive tasks? Python is great at automating them. Now, JavaScript's wheelhouse is in front-end web development for building websites. If you've ever seen like a drop-down menu on a website, that was JavaScript handling the drop-down animations. You can also use it in full-blown JavaScript web development frameworks like React, Angular, Vue, and others. Besides front-end work, JavaScript can also be used on back-end web development using Node.js. With Node, you've got server-side full-stack web development with JavaScript. We've also got several Node courses at Codemy.com. JavaScript does beat out Python for mobile development apps as well. It has things like React Native that can build native mobile apps for iOS and Android. Python can do that too with libraries like Kivi, but it doesn't do it well. Fourth, community and resources. Both Python and JavaScript have extensive, massive, fanatical communities and robust resources. Python Python's package index, PyPy, and JavaScript's NPM are probably the largest repositories of open source libraries and frameworks out there. If you have a question or a problem with your code along the way, you can always expect to find dozens of answers instantly via Google or Stack Overflow for each. Learning resources for each are endless as well. There are tons of tutorials, books, online courses, and bootcamps for each. Five, what's the job outlook for each of them? Both Python and JavaScript are two of the most in-demand programming languages in the world. Neither are going away anytime soon. Just head over to any job listing website like Indeed.com and search for jobs in your area for each of them. You'll likely see more jobs than you can shake a stick at. Not sure why you'd want to shake a stick at your computer. Anyway, salaries for each are competitive, and it really just comes down to what sort of work you're interested in doing. Finally, it's really impossible to say which of these two languages are better because they both focus on different things. A well-rounded coder should probably just learn both. At the end of the day, if you're a web developer who likes front-end design type things, then JavaScript is your obvious go-to language. If you're interested in data science, machine learning, or AI, Python is definitely your clear choice. If you want to focus on back-end web development, either will work, but Python is probably a more reasonable choice here just because if you go with JavaScript, you're pigeonholed into just working with Node.js. Whereas with Python, there are a number of backend frameworks and areas you could focus on. At the end of the day, both are great programming languages, and I highly recommend each of them. If you like this video, check out the next one in the playlist on Python versus PHP. You might just be surprised. Check it out somewhere up there. And check out Codemy.com, where we have tons of courses on all of these things. And you can sign up today using coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. And that gives you unlimited access to all the courses, both Python, JavaScript, and all the rest. My name is John Elder from Codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.